Hello and welcome to Women in Gaming. I'm Melissa Ortiz, former professional soccer player for the Columbian Women's National Team and Olympian and co-founder of Kickoff Coffee Company. Today, we have exciting things ahead as I'll be highlighting some of the stories of the outstanding women in the EA Sports FIFA community. Today, we'll be chatting with Shy Case, FIFA competitor, content creator, and EMLS representative. Actually, the very first FIFA gamer to represent an MLS club, and that is for the Chicago Fire. She garners well over 25,000 followers on Twitch. Absolutely impressive. I'm excited, you must be excited, so let's dive into it. Hi, Case, welcome. Hi, thank you so much for having me. It's great to meet you and I'm so happy to be on this. Likewise. So let's talk a little bit about yourself. Who is Shy Case? I am obsessed with football. Um, and growing up, I played a lot of video games. And so honestly, it's kind of the best of both worlds. I actually started working for Chicago Fire back in 2016. And so started off in the marketing space and I just kind of stumbled into being really good at running FIFA tournaments and playing FIFA. And so eventually I started streaming and honestly it kind of blew up. So I am almost two years into streaming on Twitch. So quickly became partnered and uh, yeah, kind of just all fell into place, but I love it. And so I work in football, I stream football, football is literally life. So it's been great so far. Well, we definitely have a lot in common, as you can see, football passionates. But you mentioned that you grew up playing video games. Uh, what other games did you grow up playing? I have played a lot of different video games, a lot of variety. So anywhere from Street Fighter to Tekken, obviously FIFA. I have two brothers, so we just used to play all the time. That's all we did. We were just sitting on the couch and playing video games at all times. So a lot of different games here and there. What was your first game in the FIFA franchise? I believe it was FIFA 17, actually. Uh, so that's when I started playing casually. And I didn't start playing Ultimate Team until FIFA 20. So FIFA 17, FIFA 18, FIFA 19, it was just like kickoff playing against friends in college, that sort of thing. So start off then. Uh, but yeah, obviously now I play every single day for multiple hours a day. So I'm kind of obsessed. <laughs> Did you have a favorite player growing up? Yeah, so Ronaldinho is my favorite player of all time. Um, he's just, he's so skilled. I could literally watch videos of him on YouTube for hours, just ev everything he does. He's, he's a fantastic player. And so I've been able to play with him, luckily in FIFA a few times, because he's actually a really hard, hard card to get. Um, but yeah, he's always been my favorite. And what about currently? Who is your favorite player? So I'm gonna say this is a tie because I always like to talk about the women's side and also the men's side. So on the men's side, my favorite player right now is Kevin De Bruyne. So KDB, he's the best midfielder in the world. Don't at me, he's better than every other midfielder on the men's side. But on the women's side, my favorite is Sam Kerr. So obviously being from Chicago, she played for the Red Stars and she's an amazing striker. She is just so cool. The backflip she does when she scores a goal just blows my mind. She definitely is a baller. I'm sad I never got the opportunity to play against her uh, or against Australia, but I, I absolutely enjoy watching her play. Um, so did you also play uh, soccer growing up? It's funny, when I was really little, I did, um, but Taekwondo was actually my sport growing up. I have four black belts in Taekwondo. I train six days a what? week. So it's a different type of kicking, but it's funny. So I play for fun now. I play rec soccer, but like when there's a ball coming at me in the air, I, you know how like Zlatan like karate kicks a ball a lot of times, or like tornado kicks? That's my initial response is to like kick a soccer ball like I do <laughs> for Taekwondo. <laughs> but yeah, I play for fun now, but it was not like my main number one sport growing up. If I had to defend you, I would be a bit intimidated <laughs> with your Taekwondo <laughs> belts, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> well, luckily I've never kicked someone like in the face, so that's, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> we wanna know about your life and your success within the FIFA community, as well as the esports world. So I am actually the manager of esports for Chicago Fire as well. So that kind of encompasses being a manager for all of our professional players. So we actually signed three pro players this year. We have Kid Mamito, Hectic Jukes, and BITW7. They're awesome FIFA players. So they're gonna compete in the Global Series this year. So I manage everything from scouting to writing their contracts to traveling with them for tournaments and then also marketing and making sure that they're getting the recognition that they deserve. And so managing that has been an amazing opportunity for me. And so I'm very, very lucky that the fire trust that I'm able to do that and so I love that aspect of my job and then obviously my own content creator side there's been some crazy milestones throughout the way I quickly 
grew within the Twitch community. I was partnered within six months, I think. As of right now, I'm a little bit over 28,000 followers, which is awesome on Twitch. I think I have over 30,000 on TikTok. And so people enjoy watching me play, which sometimes blows my mind that people actually like enjoying watching me play. But um, I'm grateful that my community exists. And so, yeah, there's been a lot of milestones throughout the way, but um, I'm super happy that I'm at where I am right now. That's absolutely incredible and inspiring, not only for myself, but for so many um, gamers and, and women especially that aspire to, to reach those milestones. What are the challenges that you have faced as a gamer? Obviously, being a woman in gaming is one thing in itself, but being a woman in a game that is directly related to a sport is a whole nother situation. Um, obviously, women in sports, it's, it's often, there's a lot of sexism. There's a lot of bringing each other down in terms of education and how much you know about sports. And it's the same exact way in gaming and in FIFA. And so, honestly, it's an everyday occurrence that I get told to get back into the kitchen. And yeah. it's just trying to ignore it and keep my head up high. and. I take that negativity so that hopefully in five years time, 10 years time, it keeps getting less and less. And so more women feel the confidence to go stream. And so they, they may watch me, they may watch all the other awesome women who are streaming this game and they're like, oh, they're doing it. They're able to overcome the negativity. Maybe I could do it too. So then honestly, I just hope it's the norm that women are streaming and playing the game and obviously loving sports in the future. And it's not like, oh my gosh, they're, they're a woman and they're playing the game. So one day. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely one day. I, know, I think your your answer is perfect um, because there's no, I don't think, better way to explain what it's like, whether you're a gamer or whether you're a player on the pitch on a, on a football field, because I mean, I, I could tell you easily that throughout my career, I also received those type of messages even to this day. But the the change is, is pretty much here. Like you are setting the way and paving the path for so many FIFA gamers. What kind of other changes would you like to see moving forward? I want to see more of us. I want to see more and more women signed by huge esports organizations, by big football clubs all over the place. So I, I'm so grateful that my hometown club, my local club, Chicago Fire, was able to trust in me and give me the responsibility of being the first woman MLS gamer. Um, but more and more need to do it. They need to take that step. And honestly, the more that it's seen, the more they're going to think that they could be pros along the hundreds of men who are now qualifying for these events. And so more of that. And then also just representation in like content creator tournaments online, even like football tournaments for creators. There's a lot of those out there and I just see them day after day. It's just like men, 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 men. There's no women. And so we just need to throw ourselves out there and just give women that, that platform and then it'll just become more and more recognized, so. So you're saying that you want more women in gaming. I 100% agree with you. So for a female, whether girl or woman, doesn't matter the age, what exactly would you recommend that they do in order to get started? Honestly, just play the game. Um, watch other streamers who are really, really good. That's one thing that when I was first getting started, to be fair, when I started playing FIFA, I was horrible. I was very, very bad. Um, but I watch a lot of other streamers on Twitch who are actually professional FIFA players. And so watching their gameplay, and the more you watch football, the better you'll be at the game because you just understand the mechanics of the pitch. Obviously, it's a little bit different in FIFA. Um, but the more I watch football, the more that I watch pro FIFA players gameplay, the better I got. And I just I just put hours and hours into the game. And I would like talk to my other friends, be like, how did you do that? How did you do that? They're like, oh, it's, it's the right stick to the right twice, uh, that sort of thing. And so I just putting in the hours and then finally gaining the confidence to play in front of other people. So yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so very much, Case, for sharing your experience, your story. It's absolutely inspiring. You are a path creator, you're a groundbreaker, you're inspiring so many girls and women, especially in the FIFA community. So hats off to you. Thank you for killing it and um, wishing you the best and for you to continue being you. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. It's been great talking to you, Melissa. All right, y'all, thank you so much for joining us as we spoke to Shy Case about her experience and how she got into becoming a FIFA streamer and becoming the first female gamer to represent an MLS club. And I hope you enjoyed it. There's many more to come.